Hello and welcome. I'm a pretty calm guy. I stay calm most of the time. But this move's got me a little bit excited. Let's talk about it. Jordan Whitehead coming on back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This move, yeah, this is a good move. For Jason Light, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and for Jordan Whitehead as well, this is just so logical, made so much sense. James and I talked about this on the Mr. Bucks Nation podcast. Be sure to check us out coming up tomorrow. Be sure to check us out. We talked about this when we were going through needs for the Buccaneers heading into the offseason. Safety was highlighted as one of the biggest positions of need. Opposite Antoine Winfield Jr., you needed somebody who could come in and be reliable and be a playmaker. We talked about whether or not we believed the Buccaneers would address that through the draft or through free agency. We looked at the list of free agents. I said, James, James, give me Jordan Whitehead. And we both kind of agreed it might be tough because at that point in time, the Buccaneers hadn't made any of their major re-signings referencing Mike Evans, Baker Mayfield, Antoine Winfield Jr., Levante David, Chase McLaughlin, anybody. And we said, boy, the number might be too high. It might be difficult to get a deal done. Well, since then, the Buccaneers have re-signed Baker Mayfield, Mike Evans, Chase McLaughlin, Levante David, Antoine Winfield Jr., and Chase Edmonds, and still had room to be able to go out and get Jordan Whitehead. And Jordan Whitehead is not obviously, you know, he's not a buck lifer, and, and I'm the biggest fan of re-sign your people. I think if you have good people, you want to keep your good people. And Jordan Whitehead technically left, but Jordan Whitehead is still Buck people. Drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, started his career, won a Super Bowl with the Buccaneers, has played very, very good football for Todd Bowles and the Buccaneers. I love the scheme fit, obviously. Playing next to Winfield, I love that for the Buccaneers. I think it makes safety a position of strength, no longer a position of weakness, and it's not doesn't need to be addressed any further this offseason. Just a logical move for both sides and a situation where now you can look to other needs, edge rusher, I think interior offensive line, positions of need for sure in Tampa moving forward. But man, just an exciting deal to get that done. Your first outside, outside free agent signing is just bringing back another one of your guys who was very good and just left to get a big payday, played well for the Jets for two seasons, and then you bring him back. That is tremendous. I love the value for the Buccaneers, a two-year deal. I, I couldn't be I couldn't be more pleased with the move personally.